Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper. The uh, two meter band, 144 megahertz, is probably the most used amateur band uh, ever. Simply because uh, when you get your first license, and for you guys in the US that means a technician, it's probably the first band you go to and a two meter handheld is probably the first radio you buy. And for good reasons. Um, they're cheap, they work well, everybody has one, and uh, they have a decent range, especially if you use them from uh, the top floor of an apartment building. Otherwise, on the ground, maybe four or five miles. So, what can the two meter band do? Um, well, it depends what mode you use and which antenna uh, you use. The antenna is everything, and it's true for VHF as HF for everything actually. The mode is important too because take FM for instance, the same as your uh, broadcast uh, music station. It's very wasteful of power. It's a very wide signal. Of course the radio stations don't care, they have plenty of power, they have grid power, so it doesn't matter to them. What they want is quality and the uh, FM uh, does provide that. But us guys, I, we don't really care if we sound a little bit like Donald Duck. I mean, as long as everybody understands, it doesn't matter. So there is a mode on the two meter band that is very efficient. It's a voice mode, single sideband. There are two sidebands, the upper sideband, USB, and the lower sideband, LSB. On the two meter band, we use USB, upper sideband. Why? Well, it's, like I said, very efficient. It's only three kilohertz wide, so your signal, uh, you get more mileage, basically, uh, more bang for your buck. So I bought myself an ICOM IC251E. It's an old rig, it's, it's from the 80s, so it's probably 35 years old. It still works. And uh, just like on HF, uh, I started using uh, a USB. I had to build an antenna, so you probably saw the uh, video that I posted recently, um, the one right before this one about building a uh, Yagi Uda antenna. A Yagi antenna is a directional antenna. So uh, it has gain. Gain means that you put more power into one direction. It doesn't amplify your signal. Uh, no antenna can do that. But since it focuses the beam, uh, more power goes into one direction and not the others. So uh, they can be quite, uh, quite powerful. Um, and you can make those antennas for your little handheld FM or for uh, your more uh, sophisticated radio, like uh, say uh, a Yesu FT817ND or KX3 from Elecraft. Or, uh, there are quite a few old radios that are available for a uh, two meter SSB. Uh, they are called all mode radios. So if you go to eBay, search for two meter all mode transceiver, you'll find quite a bit of stuff. And usually they're like hundred dollars, you know, so you can get them for quite cheap, actually. I got mine for about 200, but it's more of a desktop radio. Although I can take it portable, but I don't have the cable yet, so uh, I can only power it from, uh, from grid power so far. What I did is that uh, I took my portable antenna, which is supposedly for using outside, and I put it on the second floor of my house. And, I mean, inside uh, a bedroom, so it's, it's not efficient at all. On top of that, I use 9 meters, about 25 feet of RG316 coax, which is incredibly lossy. 
at uh, such a high frequency so I really need something better but I thought well I'll give it a try I want to see how far I can get and I was quite surprised <laughs> quite surprised usually for me uh, local and regional communications well regional communications means using 80 meter the 80 meter band on 3.5 megahertz 3.5 to 3.8 here in France but you need a 40 meter long 132 feet antenna and where are you going to put that I mean here last time I used uh, that band I actually uh, was on a net uh, talking to England and I laid the antenna on this bridge if you remember well but you can't always do that so what if you have a family member who's maybe at say uh, 100 miles away well CB is not going to do it usually uh, your little handheld uh, you know FM handheld is usually not going to do it either and the two meter band might do it although uh, not all the time but I thought it was worth a try and um, so today there was a uh, tropospheric op opening it's uh, it's a weird uh, propagation mode and there are plenty of them on uh, VHF uh, some people even uh, manage to uh, send signals to the moon and bounce it back to earth and uh, it's just incredible but that's not very practical because you need very big antennas to do that as well um, but a little Yagi, a portable Yagi, can be, uh, I don't know, four or five feet long, maybe up to, uh, up to six or seven, uh, seven feet long. And, uh, well, it could be quite, quite a bit longer, but for our purposes, to be portable, that's probably the limit is about two meters. And that's um, about, uh, I don't know, that's six, uh, six, six, maybe, I'm not sure. But the one I made is uh, two meters long. So I first managed to uh, make some local contacts, maybe you know about 20 kilometers up to uh, about uh, 30, 32 kilometers, so about 20 miles, which is quite good actually. And uh, that's all because of the antenna, of course. I could have done the same in FM, maybe slightly less because it's again not very efficient. So. USB is going to uh, carry you a little bit further because of the power. You still need height because uh, there is such a thing as the curvature of the earth and there's nothing we can do about that. So you need to place your antenna as high as you can. And that's always the uh, deciding factor in uh, local communications is the height of the antenna. It's not the power. You need to get that antenna up there. Um, but 2 meter offers uh, interesting uh, propagation modes and uh, the tropospheric uh, troposcatter is uh, one of them. And that happens when there are changes in the weather and uh, temperature inversions and things like that. It's not the purpose of this video to get into, into this, but just know that sometimes you can make quite distant contacts on the 2 meter band using an efficient mode like USB or Morse code CW. I haven't made a CW contact on 2 meter, but I, I'm trying. So uh, uh, I should st stop talking, this is getting too long. Sorry guys, uh, let's have a look at uh, what I did, a couple contacts with England and one with France. Ok Patrice, hein, bah, toutes ces informations sont, sont très intéressantes pour moi. Hein. 
euh, puisque je ne savais, je n'étais pas sûr de la fréquence d'appel non plus. Bon, j'ai trouvé sur, sur l'internet, euh, sur euh, Wikipédia, que c'était euh, 14.3. En CW, j'appelle sur euh, 14.050, j'ai essayé aussi sur euh, 0.60. Et euh, c'est vrai que j'aimerais bien essayer l'Angleterre quand même, parce que, euh, bon, je parle, je parle anglais, donc euh, ce serait intéressant. Foxtrot 4, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee. 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 Whisky, Bravo, Yankee. QSL? Alpha, Papa, 3, portable, contact. Foxtrot 4, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee. Good afternoon, 59110. 59110. From Juliet Oscar, 01, Papa, Unifor. Roger, thank you very much. Uh, you are 59 plus 5 into Juliet Oscar 10 Lima Sierra. For portable uh, operations, I'd rather get something a little bit smaller than the uh, ICOM 251. Like uh, maybe a Yesu, uh, I think it's the FT 290R. Uh, there is the ICOM, uh, I think it's a 206, something like that. There's a 202. Uh, which is a cute little radio. I forgot to mention one radio that I really uh, would like to have, and that is the MFJ uh, 9402. Uh, the 9402 is a very light, small, uh, not very uh, current, uh, hungry radio. It's only for two meters uh, USB so it's only one mode and one band and that's it but I used to own a uh, an MFJ 9406 which was absolutely great I didn't get to use it a whole lot unfortunately I had to sell it but um, I think a 9402 would be an excellent choice for uh, mobile portable operations and I might get one someday and I'm not being paid by MFJ to say this but it's just because I used uh, the 9406, uh, I know the 9402, actually the 9402X, which comes with the microphone, uh, would be an excellent rig in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I think it's on my list. Now the question is, is it useful? And should you maybe think about using a two meter SSB for local and regional communications? Well, it depends. It's always the answer, isn't it? If you have people that you know, uh, you know where they're located, and uh, you know they're equipped like you, and they can uh, make contact with you on 2 meter SSB, it's a great uh, band and a great mode to use for that. Uh, if some people are a little bit out of range for 2 meter FM or, or UHF FM, using 2 meter, two meter SSB might just get you there, uh, just about. So, of course, you can also make a Yagi Uda or a quad antenna for uh, regular, you know, VHF, UHF, uh, FM communications, and that's great. I highly suggest you do that. I'll put a link actually uh, down below where you can use a uh, Yagi uh, uh, calculator program to, to make your own. I'm going to get a PAR omnidirectional horizontally polarized uh, loop antenna. And uh, I'll uh, of course make a review of that. Uh, and I hope that's going to help me uh, map map my surroundings uh, as far as uh, 2 meter SSB is concerned. Maybe getting an old uh, 2 meter all mode transceiver or something like uh, again like an FT817ND um, 
can uh, help you uh, make those contacts more on a local and a regional basis uh, without having uh, to use NVIS and a huge wire antenna. So uh, you might want to give it a shot, maybe just for fun, you know. I'm having certainly a lot of fun right now. Uh, another thing you can do is actually uh, listen to the 2 meter uh, SSB band um, and uh, make yourself a map of uh, your surroundings uh, and figure out who is where and who's using what. You might be surprised and uh, there might be quite a few people using uh, 2 meter USB around you. I sh certainly discovered that there are a few around me here and um, I'm quite happy about that because those people don't rely on uh, repeaters and they rather make contact uh, between each other and uh, have a chat once in a while and um, I think that's the best way to uh, to establish a network of uh, trusted people that you can get information from especially in a prepping situation uh, so it's kind of useful um, if you know who you're going to be talking to if you're going to be calling just randomly or monitoring or anything like that, bah, I'm not sure it's worth the, the expense really. Uh, although it's, again, you know, you get an old uh, transceiver, it's not going to cost you that much. But, um, uh, well, maybe you haven't, uh, you haven't used uh, all the capacities of your uh, transceiver. Maybe you have, uh, you have an 817ND. Uh, maybe uh, 897 or you know an ICOM uh, um, which has a VHF on it and uh, you never tried it. Uh, it can also give you a little bit more of privacy. Uh, not many people have 2 meter SSB radios. Uh, someone with a Bowfang or uh, you know a 2 meter handheld of some sort is not going to be able to listen to you. They'll hear you but they won't understand a word you say. It's all garbled. So it's kind of like the six meter band. It's not used much. Those are great bands. Not many people use them. And uh, so not many people have the radios capable to, uh, to listen to those bands. Maybe they won't even think of it. But uh, if you want privacy, if you want to contact people you already know, I think it's great. Um, and I would highly suggest it. Well, maybe not highly, but <laughs> I wouldn't hesitate recommending uh, giving it a shot. All right, so I won't make this any longer. Uh, there will be more videos on uh, VHF, SSB, but uh, portable. Once I get my uh, DC uh, power cable and I find myself a battery that can power that monster, although the IC251 is pretty good on uh, current. Uh, 500 milliamps on receive and uh, 2.3 amps on transmit, which is pretty good. I mean, on receive, it's uh, only slightly, uh, slightly worse than a, uh, an FT817 ND, so it's not bad at all. When you see new radios, Matt, now that uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Matt now in French, okay. I'm losing my French, my English. Ah, anyway, I'm in English mode now, I need to stay in it. And I need to practice, so I'm glad, I'm thankful for you guys keeping me on my toes. So, uh, I'll go portable with that radio and uh, we'll see what we can do in the field. And uh, that's about it for this one. Have a good one.